Tylo, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? I hopefully it's a great place, and uh, I hope to be there. So you believe there's a heaven? I do. Do you believe there's a hell? I also do. What does a person have to do to go to heaven? Either be saved and, you know, worship the Lord, or hopefully just be a nice person in general and try to be best for everybody. Would you consider yourself good enough to go to heaven? I would hope so. I mean, I try to be nice to everybody and help them when they need and do everything I can. The best way to find out whether we're righteous enough to go to heaven on our own merit is to look at the Ten Commandments. That's God's moral law. If you and I were to keep those commandments 100%, we'd be righteous. But if we break them, even in the slightest, we'd have a debt to the law that must be satisfied. I'll walk you through a few of them and get your thoughts on it, okay? Alrighty. Tylo, in your whole lifetime, have you ever told a lie? I'm sure I have, yes. Like the rest of us? Have you ever stolen anything? I have once, yeah. Disobeyed your parents? I have. Have you ever called someone a name out of anger? Yes. The standard is so high, the Lord says, even if you call your brother a fool, you're in danger of the judgment because it comes from a murderous heart. Think of it this way. Have you ever had someone call you a name? Yes. How did that make you feel? Quite upset. So the Lord charged them with murder, but we're all with blood on our hands. Do you understand? I do. Thanks for being patient. This is very uncomfortable, but I'm going somewhere with this. Here's your last one. Have you ever looked upon a woman to lust for her? I have, yes. Jesus says, You've heard it said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that even if you look at a woman to lust for her, you've committed adultery already with her in your heart. Tylo, do you know what capital punishment means? No, I do not. Capital punishment is the death penalty. Did you know that God has given you and me the death penalty? No. The scriptures say, for the wages of sin is death. So because you and I have violated God's moral law, we die. Does this make sense? I understand. Therefore, going to heaven don't have anything to do with how good we are. The scriptures say that there is none righteous, no, not one, and that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that there's none that doeth good, no, not one. Tylo, if you were to die one day as a result of sin, and then you met God in judgment, and He judged you in light of the Ten Commandments, would you be then innocent or guilty? Guilty, depending. If God is a judge, the commandments are the law, and you and I will be the lawbreakers, what would a good judge do to a lawbreaker? Consider him guilty. And move, move forward with sentencing. So a man goes to hell to do the time for his crime. The things that satisfy justice are time or a payment. So to avoid doing the time for your crime in hell, what one would need is a fine payer. Where might you find one of those in God's courtroom? Through God or through Jesus. Everybody's heard the name of Jesus, but a lot of people don't know what to do with him. I'll explain it and get your thoughts on it, okay? Okay. God is a spirit, and he entered into his creation as a man. Jesus Christ, or God in the flesh. And when he died on the cross, what he was doing was writing a check for you in his blood. Right before he died, he said, it is finished, paid in full. So no matter what you've done in your life, he paid it in full. And he was buried, he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures, and he's alive right now in heaven. Think about this question. If he finished the work for you, then what is there left for you to do? What does a person have to do to go to heaven? Either be saved and, you know, worship the Lord, or hopefully just be a nice person in general and try to be best for everybody. Would you consider yourself good enough to go to heaven? I would hope so. I mean, I try to be nice to everybody and help them when they need and do everything I can. At the beginning of the conversation, Tylo said that he would make heaven by being a good person and being kind to others. I stopped the interview and opened up the scriptures to explain to him. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. 
Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Relying on your good works is trying to keep the law. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 24, we find, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we were no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. How would we know that we needed a Savior if not the law told us we were a sinner? I explained to Tylo that salvation is a free gift by faith in the blood of Christ plus nothing. And it was available to all that call upon the name of the Lord. And he did just that. Watch this. I understand that Jesus sacrificed himself for our sins and that through him and his sacrifice, he has made our way through heaven. 